Hi, it's time for our adventure with these specialized bikes as in this episode we're talking about specialized diverge model range so let's just click adventure here uh, and then from among the adventure-ish bikes of specialized we're gonna choose the diverge model that's the one here on this episode i'm going to show you three frame sets available for diverging different uh, component setups we're going to try to find out which one will be worth the price because these are pricey bikes but tempting to to purchase as well and then at the end uh, i'm going to challenge you with another question diverge or roubaix so diverge versus roubaix roubaix will be quite similar also comfy and cheaper so we're, we're gonna find out try to find out uh, that about that one as well uh, so here are the uh, diverge bikes these are gravel bikes so stiff strong still quite fast uh, with um, wider tires so comfy as well and Quite versatile because Diverge actually shoots for diversity right this is the the whole range of uh, Diverge uh, bikes we have as I said three different frame sets first one is uh, carbon full carbon one uh, from Diverge Pro through expert uh, down to the Diverge comp so the most expensive one five thousand five hundred dollars the, the cheapest one three thousand three hundred dollars so I'm gonna choose this one and we're gonna have it right here. The next one is the alloy frame with full carbon fork and that's the Diverge with this, this uh, DSW um, symbols which stands for um, D'Aluizio uh, Smart Weld Technology which is really smart. Those guys, this guy actually uh, invented the, the way of, of, um, of um, uh, welding those frames they are actually uh, hydro forming uh, those uh, joints uh, with the welds and the frames are stiff light and look really really uh, clean so uh, these are start with diverge comp x1 through the um, diverge elite dsw so i'm gonna have this cheapest one for $1,500 right here. So this one is still with uh, D'Aluizio Smartwell technology. And then uh, the last one is also alloy with um, carbon bladed fork with aluminum steerer, uh, diverge, uh, not as high end um, aluminum technology, but still quite nice and strong bikes. So we have the cheapest one here, which is diverge A1 subcompact for $850. And we're gonna have it right here. Uh, differences uh, well we have actually all the technology available for uh, different models here but let's just start with the uh, carbon carbon one we have full carbon frame with uh, full carbon fork and specialized used this stiffest and lightest carbon uh, fiber available for them at least in their technology which is the 10R carbon I was explaining that in one of the previous video on on tarmac I think so the most expensive uh, uh, kind of carbon is through a whole range of carbon uh, diverge bikes we have through axle in the rear through axle in the front something really cool and of course uh, tapered head tube um, which is here the 118 uh, for 114 for lower bearings here so really, really cool, cool bike. Now, what we have here in the middle is the aluminum super light frame with full carbon um, fact, specialized fact uh, fork. Uh, this one has also the tapered uh, head tube, which is same, 118, 114. Uh, and this one has through axle only in the front and just like standard quick release in the rear. But still this one, uh, has those zerts inserts like um, absorbing uh, some vibrations for some bumps uh, on the rear triangle here on the seat stays and in the fork and then the third model uh, the cheapest one has no tapered uh, head tube has aluminum steering uh, tube uh, carbon bladed fork with zert insert only in the fork because here we got, we've got only this shaping of those uh, seat stays and of course the quick release uh, in the rear 
uh, and also the difference, uh, one other difference between this line and those um, DSW and uh, Carbon One is that this one doesn't have internal ca cable routing, which doesn't bother me uh, at all. Now, very cool feature is that uh, these bikes can accommodate 32 millimeters wide tires. Uh, this one comes with 30, I think, 30 mils. Mm, where's the tire? Where's the tire? Yeah, yeah, this one comes with 30, up to 32 millimeters, and I think all the rest will come with 30 millimeters uh, tires. Uh, but uh, you can really feel the difference riding uh, wider tires. What will be the use of these bikes? Now, many people would use it as a commuter bike, just as cyclocross bike or any kind, other kind of bike. But this one you can really use for some fast training on the road. You can go a bit off-road, some gravel roads, some forests, some paths, paths and on these uh, sleek tires you're gonna you're not gonna have a lot of grip but you're gonna have some comfort so this is really cool uh, and this uh, and this feature on these bikes is just great all of these bikes as you can see come with uh, disc brakes and that's for a reason in my opinion it's not only like some new feature um, these bikes you're gonna use in different weather conditions uh, whether it be wet or maybe even some bit muddy conditions on some on some gravel roads so those disc brakes will, will really give you some nice uh, stopping power uh, through all the range. And we are starting with Tektro Spire, if, if I remember well, um, which are like really, yeah, th they say just mechanical this. No, Tektro, Tektro, Tektro Spire will not be available for this one, the cheaper one, but some just some bit more expensive model will have really nice Tektro Spire. Uh, disc brakes and it will be cool. Now which one is worth the price? Well, hmm, we've got $3,300 for the bike that will have that will run 105 um, components. It's a mix of different components uh, with hydraulic brakes by Shimano as well and it's well it is quite pricey but this seat post um, and this uh, technology with through axles and the most expensive kind of uh, carbon fiber, it really does make this machine a really cool machine. And I would maybe wait till November, December sales, then you can maybe like have some bargain for like $2,700 or so. Uh, this one, I think uh, the middle one, the alloy one is also cool. One thing missing here is the through axle in the rear. You cannot have everything. Uh, I would pref uh, uh, prefer personally the rear through axle instead of through axle uh, on the fork. But still, we have here those disc brakes, so having this one on the fork is um, is nice as well. It's really improvement. Through axle is really improvement. I, I feel it on any bike I'm, I'm sitting on with those uh, through axles. And in just in a few days, I'm gonna be testing for you guys also specialized bikes in Novo Mesto, Czech Republic on the world champs. Um, and then this one, the cheapest one, doesn't have through axle in the uh, fork, but still quite good. So for $850, having Claris components is a bit maybe too much, but still, if you can accommodate wide tires, you have strong aluminum frame with carbon bladed fork and disc brakes, it's just okay. Once more, November, December, this one would go for maybe $700, which would be quite nice price. And still, it is a specialized bike. All three models have same uh, geometry. So if you look at the stock and ridge and the head tube length, it will be all the same. Head tube angle, seat tube angle will be all the same for those bikes. So if I was to go for a carbon bike, I would just go for the uh, cheapest model for $3,300. That's the Diverge Comp because then you can just put any components you would like to have on this one, but it will be really like strong and, and light bike. Uh, you can also um, mount the uh, racks and fenders on any of these bikes, so this is also a cool feature. Um, I think basically that would be that would be all you should know about these bikes. Uh, what I maybe don't like about the cheapest one is this crazy little thing. It doesn't look as nice as this a specialized Zerts um, insert because uh, still the line of the seat stay is quite nice here. You can see that on this, yeah, on this yellow or red one. 
here doesn't look as nice maybe maybe some guys would like it like on Pinarello bikes um, and yeah uh, this one is a subcompact bike uh, I like it because it comes with the 4832 teeth crankset in my opinion I would like to have this crankset maybe on the higher model because um, gravel bike I would like to go for some little mountains on the forest somewhere just you know it has to be the versatile bike so having a subcompact um, setup is just fine uh, the graphics of those bikes I like those um, pretty much though this one is really a killer in my opinion now why diverge and not the Roubaix here we've got carbon Roubaix with di2 Altigra yeah with uh, yeah we have some Shimano like 105 brakes but the drivetrain is Altigra I mean you know the shifters the shifting system is Altigra which is expensive and you have it here for three thousand dollars versus three thousand three hundred dollar um, diverge on the Shimano 105 now hmm, this doesn't seem to have technology uh, technological advantage uh, but it can accommodate wider tires another thing is here that on Roubaix you've got this 8R uh, carbon not 9 even but 8R car uh, carbon which is not as stiff it will be more compliant and here you've got 10R now I was thinking why wouldn't they put 8R on the Diverge as well and then I thought mm, perhaps they thought they think we have wider tires more compliant more comfy tires and we have those through axles then let's give those people a super strong chassis with some comfortable tire and I think it, it's a point I see the point there and uh, well if you're gonna go for just versatile bike this $300 more for a bit less in terms of the components is worth uh, just paying more that's my opinion guys if you're riding any of these bikes let us know in the comment section that's pretty much it the uh, geometry for both will be also the same if you look at the geometry uh, look at the stack and reach because head tube length will be it will be longer for um, for um, this uh, Roubaix because it doesn't have to accommodate 32 mil tires so geometry same head tube will be longer because here we have to fit some uh, some wider just bigger tires so that's it for this episode thanks for watching give me some thumbs up and i will see you in the next episode bye bye